Now we need to set up the initial configuration for this. Let's give it a default account. Might use BF admin. And here we set up our data sources. So it's already got the details for the database where we are. We need to provide master operator right. In this instance, I've got inventory that I've got as a user. And our details for our web reports database. So on the same server, reporting. So we can click create now. It will create this data source for those resources. Now, the final thing that we need to do here install is to do an import. It's important that you do this import before you actually set up any particular scans. How long this actually takes can be a few hours, as it says there. So you need to do this before you set up scans is the main takeaway. Click import now. Come back once this is finished. OK, so now our import is completed. We can go through the process of up our scan jobs. The first thing that we want to do is go into our Big Fix inventory site. What we want to do install or upgrade the scanner. Now, if you want to make this so that it will install for every device that you've got that you bring on board, dynamically target all computers. And then if we go to the execution tab here, if we change our preset to policy, this job will always run. So because I'm setting as a policy, I like to put policy in front of it, in front of the name. So I can see when I look at my actions with no end date, I know that I meant to set it as a policy. I'll click OK here. And what that will do is install the scanner on any devices that are in my environment, as well as any new devices that get added after the fact. The next thing that we can do, let that go, is go down to here, initiate a scan. Search for initiate. See there's our software scan here. We can see on the details tab here, what sort of scan information we've got. In this instance, I'm going to leave it as default. We'll, we'll get a catalog scan and file system scan, and we'll get our app application usage statistics. So we'll see how often software is being used. So with this, when we do take action, we actually, again, will dynamically target all computers. If you have a larger environment, you may want to look at um, setting your fleet up to be scanned on a periodic basis and so maybe you'll you know have i think it's if we've got the say thirty five thousand endpoints you could look at you know that sort of level scanning one seventh of your fleet on monday and then the next seventh on tuesday and so on and so forth but because i've just got a small environment here i'm just going to have just the one scan so dynamically target all computers again and you can see this particular fixlet's got some action defaults. So when we have a look at the execution tab, it's always going to run and it will run every seven days. So we can see it reapplies waiting seven days in between. So what we can do, is, and I like to put in here seven days. So I understand that this is going to run every seven days and it's not supposed to expire. So I will click okay to that and have that roll out across my fleet scanning every seven days the last piece of the puzzle here that i want to do is to set my upload 
So at the moment it's greyed out. This is using relevance. So this will only ever upload scan results when there's actually scan data that's been scanned on the system. So once again, we'll take action. We'll dynamically target all computers, specify that this is a policy. And you can see here, it has already got some action defaults running as a policy and it will reapply this whenever it becomes relevant. So essentially, the moment that it realizes there's scanned data that's been collected, it will upload that to our BigFix server. So we click OK to that. If we go and have a look at our actions, we've got our three jobs. I've already got the scanner deployed to one of the systems. You can see the catalog has been downloaded automatically to my devices. And then once it picks up the, it's got the scanner installed, my software scan will kick off. So we'll, we'll let this go for a few minutes to settle down and, and get some information. And then what we need to do is just got some scanned data, well, inventory database. Okay, so we can see now that our three jobs have completed. We've installed our scanner. We've initiated a software scan and all those machines have now updated and uploaded their results. So what we need to do now is kick off an import inside the BigFix inventory database because BigFix is a real-time database, but inventory actually imports the data and keeps historical. So we go to data imports under management and we click the import now button have to wait for that data to import it'll probably take five or ten minutes and we'll come back okay so the data import is now completed so we should be able to go and see some reports of software so let's have a look and see if we've got a list of software that it's found across my environment got frame installed in a couple of machines list of all the software that's found installed on different systems so that's how you install and configure big fix inventory at a basic level there are other configuration items and things that you can do. So all there is for this particular situation. If you want to find out more about BigFix, we've got all the URLs that you can do here. Support.bigfix.com is a great place to go and... That's all there is for the this demo of installing BigFix. There are further configuration and scans that you can do, as well as... um doing uh, capacity scans and things like that which aren't shown in this tutorial thanks for watching see you next time